here we are walking down the uh, path uh, through our property from the top We're going down to look at the deep well now I can see the line the power line just over here this is where they planted all the bananas all those years ago and you see they need a lot of maintenance for it but we got a lot done this morning just in half a day up the top so we'll eventually get down and clean these up too so there's our power line <laughs> so our line's still up that's good some big clumps of bananas here here, here they're a bit more sparse Yeah, our fence is still up down here, which is good. And this is then coming down to our, gee, now that's overgrown, isn't it? <clears throat> this is coming down onto the river. So there's lots of uh, coconuts here that have fallen down. A lot growing new coconuts already. So we should be replanting those and reaping the rewards of that. Even maybe even we just plant them down here. Oh, Blacky. Here it is. So this is uh, the creek on our boundary. We think the boundary is about there. And then we've done a deep well just here. You can see the concrete there. Now I thought that this might erode through, but it appears it, it hasn't. So uh, I'd imagine there should be pretty good water down in there. The water tail will be flowing. This creek seems to flow okay. And then it joins the river just a little bit down. So we're going to lift the pipe out of there and just see what it looks like. We've got this coating on our, we've just pulled our pipe out. It's about 10 feet long or so. Up above, what looks like above the water, the pipe is as it should be. I think this is probably where the water sat. And then in which could have been under the water, this is all turned, got a, like a coating of black. I'm not sure what it is, it almost looks like oil. Maybe it's truck oil. The <laughs> slush, which is probably in the bottom in the mud, because it was sitting down against the bottom. So yeah, we don't really know what this coating is. So we're just walking along the creek here up to up there is where the deep well is. We're walking along our creek, this is our property here. And up at this little curve is where the where the creek curves around funnels into the river. Ah, changed a little here. So there's a bit of sand. And the river's flowing not too badly. It's not very deep. It'd be nice if it was a lot more deep. Here's the track up into our place. Which is up there. Of course, we don't really know what goes into it upstream. Got a little bit of bit of flow. This is our land on the right and not on the left. Up there. And then it ends at this uh, corner where the river swings back, does a 
180 degree a, a loop. Oh. So we're here above the river. We've just come up. We've looked at a spot there where we might be able to put a little, like a barrage or something to pump out of the river. We're looking for a place to put a well. And then we were talking about potential of doing a dam. And uh, the trouble is everywhere I look, there's good mango trees. Anyway, then we're looking up here and Dennis says, oh, look, and look at this. <laughs> Look at the avocados. Just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And there's a lot more in the up And the then side. up high. On the top. And up there. Uh, it'll be hard to see that because I'm straight in the sun, but um, Yeah. So we're gonna come and do a avocado harvest. So that's great, but so I'm looking here at a spot to potentially put a dam, well one for a deep well, another for a dam. You can see that water has flowed quite a bit down here at some point. This is the little valley that over here as well. There's a catchment up and it actually goes right to the top of my property. Um, However, where the road is, we looked at the other day that it's um, the water from the top part of the property above the road is flowing down the road. So we've got to fix that first. Maybe we need to put a pipe across the road, I'm thinking, or under, under the road. Oh.